Just a few days into the Israel Hezbollah ceasefire, U.S. Special Envoy Amos Hochstein has tempered Israeli expectations of the deal. The architect of the agreement dismissed the, quote, fantasy of a buffer zone in southern Lebanon, which would mean an Israeli occupation of Lebanon south. Israeli voices like those of former Prime Minister Naftali Bennett slammed the deal due to the agreement's lack of such a buffer zone. The implementation of the ceasefire already saw a challenging first day when Lebanese civilians returning back to the south entered zones in which the IDF is still stationed. On Thursday, the IDF confirmed it carried out a drone strike in South Lebanon as it fired a warning shot near a vehicle that was in breach of the ceasefire agreement. Lebanese media report that at least two people were injured. Throughout the day, our forces worked to enforce the agreement. The forces identified suspects approaching closed areas. They have been stopped and shot to repel them. We also killed terrorists today. Residents of South Lebanon, Pay attention and look carefully at this map. We are located and operate in the area. The presence of armed men in the area marked on the map constitutes a violation and any armed operative will be killed or neutralized. Above all, we are preparing, getting ready for the possibility that if this approach won't succeed, we will know how to analyze it again, cut deeper, and the response will be stronger. We are very, very determined to enforce the guidelines and bring about a completely different reality to the residents in the north. Despite the Israel Hezbollah ceasefire coming into effect on Wednesday, residents of the north were still triggered by rocket alarms. The sirens turned out to be a false alarm, but schools remain closed in northern border towns and the Golan Heights after Israeli Defense Minister Israel Katz decided to not allow schools to reopen. The residents of the north are still skeptical of the ceasefire agreement as the fear and threats of the armed terror group Hezbollah and its supporters remains. Uh, they were erecting statues to Hezbollah in front of Israeli soldiers. They're burning Israeli flags in front of Israeli soldiers. My concern is, is with the folks that are re-inhabiting the southern Lebanon, you know, is this a foreshadow of our future? And so, with the enemy at Israeli borders still far from gone, the next 60 days will decide whether the ceasefire agreement will be a long-standing one.